Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. I have my voice at this moment, but it does sound a little weird. So I'm up here in the barn, checking on the birds, grabbing my feed bucket. So that way, when I come back up to get everybody in, it'll be easier because I will have feed for them. They're not eating some of the feeds that I'm giving them, so I went back to a crumble. We try to feed these girls such good food. So we're going to have to feed them really good tonight. I do have some pasta cooked up, and I'm going to add that tonight. We'll give everybody a little bite of pasta tonight. A little oomph. All right. We have a break in the rain right now, but I don't see it stopping for, for long. Um, I'm watching Raw with his girls. It's so funny. He's such a mama's. He, he will abandon his girls for me every single time. A mother couldn't be more proud. <laughs> anyway, let's have a talk. You ready? I don't understand a few things that I really want to understand. I mean, seriously, I, I need, I need to understand something. When I hear people like MT Rex and Trump talk about Putin and Russia, I hear an alliance. I hear agreement with Putin. Am, am I hearing it wrong? I mean, if I am, let me tell you what I've been hearing, and then tell me if I'm wrong. Okay, so Trump always talks about Putin, how wonderful he is, and just the most wonderful guy. Putin is not a man of honor. Putin is who Trump wants to be. If you don't see that, okay, fine. Then don't see it. But Putin is not a good leader. He is not good for his people. He has attacked a country in the name of what? Why? Why at this time does he want Ukraine? Why? Why does he need it? Why does he have to cause war and death and destruction? Why? It really doesn't make sense. And if you can make sense for me, let me know. You have MT Rex. She claims that He's trying to save Ukraine from Nazis. That's really bizarre for me to hear. I mean, it's almost as bizarre as Trump's devotion to Putin. It's bizarre. Trump also has devotion for a few other fellows. And I find it bizarre. North Korea. He loves him. That's like his little panda bear, ain't it? What are you doing? You have the leader of Hungary, who is there illegally, whom Trump has already decided that he and Elon should go there if they lose. The election, right? There's a connection with Trump and Venezuela's leader. Because he also is living the life that Trump thought he was going to live in 2020. That he was going to steal the election and move forward. There's another leader. And I believe that's China. 
So those are five countries that Trump is personally allied with, whom our country should not be allied with. Trump has said he wants to pull us out of NATO. We know that's dangerous. If you don't know that's dangerous, then explain to me why it is okay. Because as soon as we pull out of the great nations and we ally with those five other nations, we will be a second-class country. Because there is no way in hell that with all of the changes that are going to happen if Trump gets in, that our country will be secure, will be as prosperous, and it will put us in danger as well as the other countries in NATO. The alliance with Russia is, is very obvious with the MAGA movement. And a lot of MAGA people don't even get it. They don't understand. They don't even see what I see because they do not look. If we are in alliance with Russia and we pull out of NATO, our country is doomed. And at that point, Trump can decide what he wants to do to our country as the criminal king. He can do whatever he wants. And it won't bother you until it affects you. Why is it okay to be Russia's ally or an ally to any of those five countries? Each one of those countries have a leader that is a leader for personal gain, just like Donald Trump. Believe it. Don't believe it. He doesn't give a rat's behind about any American other than his own American butt. And his butt's in the ringer if he loses. Because if you listen to all of his cohorts that have went to jail over January 6th or have litigation against them, he too will have that. He will. The Russia propaganda propaganda has been going through the internet. It used to be like what paper, the papers, the newspapers, the columns. With the internet, it can be anywhere, and it can be persuasive. You may not even know you're being persuaded by who I thought wasn't an enemy, per se. When I was growing up, Russia was not even, you know, Reagan sure wouldn't have approved of this. I don't get it. I can't accept that Putin should be our ally as the world government, the biggest power of all in the world. You better watch, watch Trump a little closer. Listen to the words of his speech. I, I challenge you to print off or have his words put in print and try to read it. Every time I listen to his speeches, I'm like, what in the hell is he talking about? He's talking about child care and he's talking about tariffs and the tariffs that he's talking about, he still claims they're going to be good in every economic guru and economist and Wall Street says, no, that's not how tariffs work. Did you go and listen to Mark Cuban? I hope you did. 
You might not have liked what he said, but he told you the truth. Russian propaganda. I honestly believe that Russia had a hand in the 2016 election of Trump. And I hope that there are enough votes to wipe him out completely because I don't want to have to deal with him. I don't want to have to deal with MAGA anymore. I don't want to have to deal with that. I want people that are MAGA to heal from all of this brain damage that's being caused with propaganda and double talks and not reading for yourself and only listening to certain sites without deciphering receipts and bringing all of the facts together and forming a factual statement rather than an opinion about what's going on. I can't imagine having a president, again, same one, sexual predator, a fraudulent thief, and just the horrible things that come out of his mouth. Explain to me why it is okay to be allies with Russia. I want to know, because it is not. Russia is not and never has been an ally of ours. Thank you. Y'all stay well, stay safe. Do what you can for your economy. Do what you can for your household. And know that you should always be prepared for whatever may come. If things stopped right now, where would you be? As far as food, water, security, lighting, being able to cook. If things happen like this, is your laundry done? Are your dishes washed? Is your garbage taken out? Things like that do matter. Don't forget it. Y'all have a great day. Hugs from a distance. I got to go down and get, well, I got to take the food bucket down and get it filled up because these girls are going to be hungry here in just a little bit. Solomon's already barking. I don't know who he's barking at, but I'm going to go find that out too. I'm going to wade through all the, they have destroyed my barn. Oh, it's horrible. I scraped one path so I could walk through it, and I'll be daggone while I stood here. They've already pooped another path. You'll have a great day. Hugs from a distance. I'm about ready to give up. Bye, y'all.